Do you want to send unlimited bulk WhatsApp messages using a CSV file and having attachments like images or even files to your messages? Well, in today's video that's kindly sponsored by RocketSend, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, there is a link in the description below. And for those of you who have asked me many comments on my old video right here, make sure that you download this software because it's going to solve all of your problems that you've been asking about. Now guys, just make sure that you use the software wisely. It's not a spam tool. It is a customer engagement tool. So make sure you use it for the right purpose. Without further ado, let's jump into it and see how it works. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is go onto your Chrome browser. Now that's very important. Make sure you're on your Chrome browser. It's not gonna work with any other browser at the moment. Type in rocketsend.io and simply install the extension right here. Now, as you can see, it's on the web store. All you need to do is have the extension, add to Chrome, and you can see that you have a little bit of information over here as well as a customer engagement tool. Now, this is important, guys. Let's add the extension. It is a customer engagement tool. So make sure that you're not using it for things like spam because you will probably get blocked. And this is not the idea of this software. OK, now we've got our Chrome browser here and we have added our WhatsApp. OK, simple as that. Now go into your settings and click on WhatsApp, click onto the QR code and let that open in your browser. And there you go. You have everything up there and everything is linked. Now, once it's opened with the extension, you can remove it if you want to and just bring it back by clicking right here. If this doesn't open, you need to just go to your extensions and you will find it down on your list of extensions. So you can simply just add it from there. OK, now there are two different options here. You have a number list where you can add things manually using a comma or you can have a CSV upload. So this is a really cool feature of a rocket send. So let's just add a few numbers here. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just put some random numbers here. Okay, now you can see that you have those. Now what's really cool is with normal WhatsApp messages, you need to be able to save them to your contacts list before you send it. But of course, with this software, that is completely gone and you can just send phone numbers that are not inside your contact list, which is really good. All right, so let's just add a message. Hi, everyone. We are just testing. OK, now we have this. Let's do that. And you have also a rewrite message with AI. And this is pretty cool. Let's just test this out and see what happens. So make it friendly. Let's rewrite the message. OK, let's do that and see what happens. So, yeah, this is another cool feature that you have and you can simply get everything. There you go. So you can just copy that. Let's close this up. This is really useful, especially if you don't know what you want to write. And let's give it a five star rating for now. You can simply write a review if you want to as well. So let's just go back to our WhatsApp and let's just delete this and type that in again. OK, we're just going to delete this. And we're going to type it in with the emoji. Great. OK, now there is a feature down here where it's adding a random time delay. The random time delay is important because it's trying to simulate a human sending the messages. So that way you can avoid getting blocked by sending spam messages, according to WhatsApp. And the recommendation from the Rocket Send team is that if you want to send a big amount of WhatsApp. So if you're 100 or above, make sure to just have this delay a little bit longer so that it prevents any issues with WhatsApp. Now, just underneath the message, you have a send attachment. If you just toggle the button here, what it says, just read the message. Or well, if it's switched on and you don't add anything, it's going to send the last document or the image to the recipient. So be very careful here if you don't intend to send any attachment, then don't click it on. But we're going to just click this on and see what happens. OK, so now we're going to attach a document. Let's click onto that. So 
let's just go and attach a video. So once you click on an image or a video, you can simply click onto that and we can choose photos or videos, or we can go down and choose wherever our folder is with our image. Now let's just click onto this and press OK and it attaches the image to anything. All right, now let's just go and press send and see what happens. All right, the phone number has an error. So this is very important. Make sure that your phone number is correct because if you don't, then this is what's gonna happen. Okay, now once the numbers are changed, just simply click there, stay on the tab while it's sending it and it simply sends everything with that. Now you can also have the option of abort sending, so that's brilliant. And you can, once it's finished, you can just stay on the tab. As you can see, this is what's happening and it sends everything. Now what you can do is once you've sent every message, you can go and have a look at how it was sent. Now, did it go? Was it successful or was it not? We're just gonna have a look once it has gone. Okay, so once it's gone, you can simply go to settings and you can scroll down and go to download report. Once you've downloaded the report, you can see the log that it's sent through. And then that way you're able to know what was sent and what was not sent. So if we just take that and put it over here, it comes up as a CSV and it simply gives you phone number and it gives you the time that it was sent and it also gives you the status. So that's something that's really good. And you can know if you've had any failures in your sending of WhatsApp as well. Okay, now just before we move on to the upload CSV option, I'm just gonna show you the little star that appears here right next to the search bar. Now, when you click onto that, you can see highlight unread if you want to highlight those, or you can blur recent text. So that would be something that you could use by default. You can blur the contact messages and you can blur the contact image. That way your whole visibility is safe. Okay, let's move on to uploading the CSV. So simply come to the CSV and then we choose the file. Make sure that it's in the correct format. You need to make sure that you have your numbers with the country code at the beginning. Okay, let's just open the file. Now you need to select the column or with the phone number. So the phone number is on the WhatsApp column. Okay, now this is really cool. You can come and add a variable to the message. So we are going to add the customer's name. So that's column one. And we're going to write dear, and then it will have the customer's name. Please find customer or whoever you want to send it to. Please find the PDF attached for sales. Okay, now you can go ahead and also correct your spellings or you can rewrite the message if you want with AI. And we're gonna add a send attachment. So let's go and add a document. Okay, click onto that. And once we've clicked onto that, we go to document, find our document. So let's add the PDF here, the monthly sales report. And let's see what happens. Okay, now once it's loaded, you can type in a title if you wish. So let's type that in and simply press send WhatsApp. Okay, now there you go. You can abort the sending if you want to as well. We've just added three onto this tab and you can see that it's simply going through and sending all of your attachments. Now it does this one by one. And once it's gone, you will have a confirmation. So the way to get your confirmation is go once again to settings. And you can download your report here and have a look at the report that's being sent. It does automatically send the report to yourself. As you can see here, message yourself. So you can make sure that the message that's gone is sent. Now, one more thing you can do is you can do a quick chat over here. So how can I help you? Can I get back to you soon? You can simply use a quick chat. You can have any other message if you wanted to use this um, quickly. So any auto messages you, and you can use that. Hi there. So for example, let's save that. And then you can add that to your quick chat as well. So that's another very cool feature of Rocket Send. 
Now guys, if you want to use over 200 at a time in sending, you can simply click here to upgrade. Let's just have a look at the pricing. It's very reasonable. So there you go. You can even have a veil or discounted offer. There is a link in the description below if you want to go ahead and get a good value here. So you can send zero dollars for 100 messages a month. Now, if you want to have unlimited messages a month, you can spend $16 and you have different licenses. You can attach images and you can customize your messages as well. You can use the annual plan as well, which is only $6 a month and that's $72 as a single payment. So the options are really quite comprehensive and very reasonable to use. Thank you for watching this video today and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure that you download Rocket Send from the description below and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so that you will get new and better content like this in the future. So I hope to see you in the next tutorial.